In this video, we're talking about the Native American tribes. These tribes live all over North America. There are five tribes that you need to be aware of this year in sixth grade. They are the Inuit tribe in Alaska and Northern Canada, the Kwakiutl tribe in the Pacific Northwest, the Pueblo tribe in the Southwest, the Lakota tribe in the Great Plains, and the Iroquois tribe in the Eastern Woodlands. So each tribe is going to live very differently depending on the resources, climate, and geography that they have available to them. The Inuit and the Pueblo have very different climates and very different resources available. Because of that, their shelters and ways of life are going to be very different. The Kwakiutl and the Iroquois are gonna live kind of similarly. They're gonna have similar shelters, similar resources, because they're both coastal. They both live next to an ocean. The Iroquois lives next to the Atlantic Ocean and the Kwakiutl lives next to the Pacific Ocean. The Inuit tribe is up in Alaska and Northern Canada. It's very, very cold up there. You can see they're pretty close to the North Pole and they're on the Arctic Ocean. Arctic means cold. They have a temperatures and a climate that is below freezing most of the year. Because of that, they have access to lots of snow, which means that their shelter is going to be igloos made of snow and ice. Sometimes when they have access to animals, they'll make tents made out of animal skin, like in the summer, but usually they're gonna be living in those igloos made of snow and ice. Their food and natural resources consist of seal, fish, whales, walrus, and caribou. So these are all animals that they can hunt using the capital resources like bows and arrows or spears. When they go fishing, they go what we would consider ice fishing, where they have a spear over a hole in the ice and they're waiting for fish to go by so that they can hunt that fish. Next up is the Kwakiutl. They are in the Pacific Northwest where they have a very rainy climate. Because it rains a lot in the Pacific Northwest, they have access to lots of vegetation or plants, especially trees, um, and because of that, they're gonna live in what's called plank houses. That access to lots of trees means that they're gonna use that natural resource to create their shelter of a plank house. They also use totem poles to tell the stories of their um, culture and their histories. Their food and natural resources are going to depend on the fact that they're near an ocean and lots of rivers. So they hunt for fish, deer, and they also pick berries. Those berries grow because it rains so much, so they have access to those berries and other plants. Next up, we have the Lakota tribe that lives in the Great Plains, that really flat and boring area in the very middle of North America. It's known for its dry grasslands, so it doesn't rain much, definitely not as much as in the Kwakiutl area, and you can see how flat and boring it is in this image. They live in teepees that can be packed up and moved quickly. Their biggest natural resource is going to be the buffalo. They need to be able to pack up those teepees and move with the teepee so that they can follow those buffalo herds wherever they go. The women own the teepees because they are the ones that are taking care of the home, being in charge of packing it up and setting it up whenever they move. They are skilled hunters. So the human resource that they have available for the Lakota tribe are going to be hunters. They hunt that buffalo and they'll also sometimes grow corn and beans. Next up, we have the Pueblo tribe. The Pueblo tribe lives in present day New Mexico and Arizona in the Southwest United States. It's very hot and dry in that area. So they're gonna have lots of desert areas. They live in what's called Pueblos. So the Pueblo shelter is called Pueblo. It can also be known as adobe because they're using adobe clay. They grow corn, squash, and cotton. Finally, we have the Iroquois in the Northwest, also known as the Eastern Woodlands. Lots of forests in that area. Because of that, they live in longhouses made of wood. They grow corn and beans, kind of like the Pueblo, but they also hunt deer and bears. 